Hello, traders out there in trader land. Welcome to the Shoulder Tap. I am Jack, joined today by Ben. Ben, what's up? Hey, Jack, how's it going? I'm uh, I'm having a really good day. It's stormy again here in Dallas. I'm having deja vu for about 30 minutes before we came on. I thought uh, the roof was going to blow off my house again all over. Um, we had crazy storms over the weekend, and it's picking back up, it looks like. But uh, rainy day, I've got a good cup of espresso. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good otherwise. How about you? I'm feeling good. No storms here, but it's a nice day. Uh, if we see some light pour in and water coming down, we'll know what happened to your roof. But let's uh, let's hope that doesn't come to that. So yeah, hopefully. Not. Anyway, this is sick. We're going to talk about some of our uh, real funded traders here at Top Step. See who's uh, doing well and who might need a little guidance via a shoulder tap. But how are uh, funded traders doing today, Ben? Yeah, you know, especially over the last few days, um, even I would say the last week, we've seen a lot of uh, really healthy and, and great activity out of our live traders. So I love seeing that. We're trending in the right direction. Uh, another good day for uh, our live traders. We've got one of our traders I know we've spoken about a couple of times. Um, UA, I believe is how you pronounce that name, UA Ping. Um, they're up at last check $40,560 in the live account. Now, um, I've been watching this account pretty closely this morning. Um, and it's it's interesting that you know what's going on psychologically. Um, I've been there myself. I you know see what happens when people get to certain uh, P and L levels, and you know that forty thousand uh, dollar mark I think is is somewhat of a, a mental barrier for them because overnight took a really really good trade, a lengthy trade in the NQ. Uh, woke up to you know I I sat down at the desk and they were up thirty four thousand um, dollars and have taken you know two dozen trades at least uh, all fifteen lots. Um, trying to work towards a forty thousand dollar mark, you know, inching up closer to it, falling back down to twenty seven thousand dollar P and L, um, and now sitting around forty thousand again. So it's one of those situations we wanted to see uh, UA walk away, uh, walk away up big money on the day. You know, don't give all that money back. Reached out to them, uh, gave them a phone call, but weren't able to get through and some emails. So uh, UA, if you're watching, uh, take home that money. I'd say at least thirty thousand dollars. You got to pocket that and and, uh, and move on. So um, huge day from UA. Uh, a couple other. Notable traders, Eddie Spy uh, up uh, forty one hundred bucks, and Prince Use up uh, sixty seven hundred. So um, really solid trading. Also, uh, Tanya trades. I know she's been trading with us in her live account up a uh, cool twenty two hundred as well. So shout out to Tanya. Um, yeah, great great trading in the live account. I know the house account is uh, is down a little bit today, but um, we'll be up again possibly even later in the afternoon. Um, I know they've been very diligent about we're taking up, those trades. We're so. up on the month. That's what's important. I was a little worried earlier that we were going to dump it all away right there. But yeah, we still got power hour to turn it around. Huge day from UA. Great stuff. I see some chat about why I say roof. Uh, what do you say? Roof? Roof? That's yeah, it's, it's double O. Big old roof. Got a roof over my house. Okay. Roof? Just checking. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so uh, who are we talking about today here? We got a couple cards to get through. Yeah, we do. I wanted to talk about UA first. Um, you know, the, there's, of course, the trading activity today that we've seen um, in their live account. But, uh, you know, there's some context around that. We reached out to UA and let them know, hey, we're going to uh, flatten you and lock the account for the day if you give up, you know, more than 50% uh, of the account balance. And there's a lot of reasons that go into that. Um, you know, our risk team has decades of experience trading the markets. We've seen a lot. Uh, we know what happens when traders reach certain, you know, peaks in their P and L. And in uh, UA's case, there's actual uh, history in the XFA of reaching forty thousand dollars and giving up half of it. So um, we wanted to make sure that they're locking in that profit. You know, if you're not, if you get tilted, it's it certainly happens. But that's part of the benefit of being with a proprietary trading firm is you have the risk team looking out for you. We can step in, intervene, and make sure you take money on the day. So um, giving a little bit of background on the XFA that was called up uh, for you, it was 150K XFA, um, hit the, the cap in that XFA after six days total. You know, it was three massive winning days that they had. Again, one of those days being a $40,000 uh, P&L high mark ultimately to only walk away with 20,000. So we've seen that take place before from this trader, wanted to be aware of that, cognizant of that and not let him go red on the day, certainly. Um, and, uh, you know, moved up to the live account, but hasn't been trading well thus far. Uh, UA has been in the live account for a total of six day trading days, including today, 
And today was the first winning day, albeit a monster of a winning day. But you can see uh, from the, the statistics on this trading card, it's not pretty um, outside of today's trading. You know, 0% winning days, hitting the daily loss limit every single day, actually averaging worse than the daily loss limit. Um, so this is someone that's coming to the market and just taking really big swings, um, taking big cracks at it. And, um, you know, that's generally not advisable. Um, when you're doing it day after day, you know, uh, the best traders, the most elite traders out there, um, they are taking considerable size on their best setups, but they also have very, very well-defined setups, back tested, proven over time. They know what they're looking for. And generally speaking, they're not appearing every day or even once a week. Um, you know, I know Dakota put on a really fantastic uh, $30,000 day. I believe it was last week. Um, one of those trades, you know, coming out of uh, really just a 30 lot um, in the NQ. So he knew what he was looking for. He's an experienced trader. He's got a doc, you know, documentation of what to look for. And he put on size. That's what the best, most elite traders do. Um, rookie traders, you know, get access to greater leverage than, than uh, you know, maybe they uh, deserve or, 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 you know, should have access to. And, and uh, they put on just massive trades, both directions all day long. Um, UA got called up to a live account for a reason. We've seen him put up consistent, um, you know, big numbers in that XFA, ultimately hitting the cap. So we want to be able to capitalize on that from a firm perspective um, in the live markets. But uh, it's been kind of a rocky start. Happy to see them up big money in the account today. Um, definitely want to see them lock that in. One other thing of note, uh, I don't know if you caught from the uh, trade report, Jack, of those five losing days um, that they've had so far hitting the, that daily loss limit. And um, they were up over a thousand dollars on three of those days. So clearly showing, you know, capacity to put on winning trades, get yourself in the green on the day. Ultimately, just to give that back, that's a habit we want to um, work out ultimately and and uh, leave in the dust. Um, sizing down and improving your win percentage is, is really just has to be the area of focus. Um, you can improve that win percentage by sizing down, um, giving yourself a little bit more room to breathe in those trades. Uh, what what if anything? I'm sure there's a lot you have to say about this one, Jack. But uh, what are your thoughts? Okay, I only have the page pulled up for the live account. Here's what I'm thinking. So what did UA uh, take down today? Um, I believe they're still trading. Um, so undetermined at this exact moment, but at last check about five minutes before we came came on the air, uh, 40,500, something to that effect. Okay. Are they, is UA still trading their full size? Oh, I yes. Yeah, scalping. Uh, last I'd seen, you know, over the last half hour or so, scalping uh, 15 lots in the NQ, you know, 800 to $1,500 at a time, you know, trying to get back from, again, they went down to, you know, almost uh, $22,000 unrealized P&L for the day, made it back up to 35000 and then just, you know, slicing at the market, trying to grab 800 to 1500 bucks at a time to get back to that $40,000 mark. I saw him hit the 40K mark just before I came on. And then uh, right before we got on, uh, put another trade on. So who knows where it ends? You know, that's a, um, I've called it chasing the dragon before. That's a never ending uh, road you can go down if you don't have a, a, a game plan for when you're going to take profit and when you're going to walk away. We're all big boys and big girls here. So UA can do whatever they want. Um, I would, and I'll look like a total ass when we come out tomorrow and it's like UA made. 80k or something like that but i'd be begging you to stop right now man uh just looking from so five days in account five days of hitting the dll um obviously if you're gonna do that we've seen people that use the dll sort of as their stop more or less you have to be able to put up big days with this uh you know you gotta be able to do it more than you gotta be able to do it more than one in 10 days if you're gonna make like 30K today or something. 40K, you've you've kind of won at this point, but you do you, man. I hope the best. Uh, I am really interested to see what UA uh, does here. Yeah, yeah, as am I. And and you know, we've seen this uh, this movie before. I would I would cite someone that comes to mind um, to me is is Hughes, someone that our longer term top sub TV viewers are well aware of. You know. Hughes was also a big swinger. He put up, you know, twenty, fifteen thousand um, dollars, you know, multiple days in a row in some instances. But um, inevitably, I think you, you know, when you're swinging like that and you can't get it right for multiple days in a row, three thousand dollars, even though it is a, you know, considerably lower than those best winning days, 
it's not nothing. You can chip away at your account $3,000 a day. You know, um, I believe Hughes did it 11 days in a row. So giving up 33 grand over 11 days is uh, really damaging, I think, if nothing else to your psychology. You know, it's tough to get over that hump and get back in the saddle and trading well um, when you've you know, chipped away such a significant yeah. fortune, really. I mean, that's, that's entire salaries you're giving up in a short period of time. And just for the people seeing the 0% winning days, that's only a five day sample. Still, I would, I would be begging you like, give yourself, come on, take like a, a 5k loss limit from if you're at 40k right now, don't go below 35. Even that's being generous. Please don't. Yeah. Okay. This will be exciting. We'll have an update on this one. I'm sure tomorrow. Um, who else yeah, we got? Even later today, I'm going to, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Probably into the close. You know, we're trying to make contact with UA to, to make sure ultimately again, for the benefit of the trader, we want nothing more than to see UA walk away with $40,000 on the day, um, you know, work towards that payout and take a significant chunk out of it. So that's what we're trying to help them do. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on it and update the uh, TV team um, as this, this trader progresses. Um, we can move on to, uh, to our next trading card. Um, I believe it's uh, Babar, Babar J. Trading with us from Long Island City, New York. Um, so Babar's uh, traded in a 50K XFA that we just called up to live yesterday. Um, really liked what we saw from Babar in a, a pretty significant sample size. We talk about this all the time, Jack. I know that's a big piece for you. 30 days is kind of that uh, bellwether. Uh, so Babar's been in this account for 31 days. So we can really lean on the statistics that we have and, and feel a lot more confident that this is something that could be sustainable and tenable long term. Uh, Babar's trading the NQ um, and uh, the micro version, the MNQ up an average uh, daily p l $467, which is really nice. Uh, winning day percentage, 77%, also fantastic. And then a winning trade percentage, uh, 67% winning trades. Um, you pair that with a 1.3 to 1 risk reward. Um, I love traders like this because when I look at their uh, trade reports, I see such low variability across a lot of different metrics. So Babar is not trading um, and, you know, two contracts one day and 75 contracts the next day and 10 contracts the day after and then two contract, 200 contracts the day after that. It's very consistent, steady um, trading behavior, if you want to put it that way. Um, and then also consistent profitability. So when you see those two things, it's hard not to call up uh, a trader to the live markets. This is exactly who we're looking for. Um, you can see that average winning day being 846, the average losing day being 830, but they're winning 77% of their days across a 30 day sample size. So um, really impressive. Also taking uh, 8,200 bucks in two payouts so far um, in the XFA. Really, really um, awesome numbers uh, in payouts from a 50K account size. Uh, again, being backstopped by that $1,000 daily loss limit is, um, is amazing having your average losing day well less than uh, than that daily loss limit is also um, great. So roughly two hour hold times, um, two to three hour hold times on the winners and the losers. So just putting on trades, um, you know, picking the spot, put the trade on, let it work out in your favor, and uh, it's working out more often than not. So love seeing that. Uh, one recommendation I would have for Babar if you happen to be listening, my man, is to trade small in this live account as you move over. So we're moving. Uh, 6,200 bucks, um, balance is getting transferred into live. Uh, so has the ability to, Babar has the ability to take a payout of that up to 50% as well. Um, if you do that, and even if you don't, I would say trade small to start, um, consistently building that balance. And then ultimately we want to see you, you know, um, size up once the account balance is higher, once you've taken some more payouts, um, and, and really lean into your best trades, your best winning trades. I'm going to keep beating the drum on that front, um, you know, you got to identify your best trades and then put size on when those show up and either sit on your hands or, you know, trade very small um, for those, you know, B or C setups. Um, so loved, uh, loved coming across the bar on our, uh, our tracker and um, happy to have them in the live markets. Uh, Jack, anything uh, that you see you like? Yeah, or you've gone over most of it. I just see good um, full on like account management here. I like the pickiness with the trades looks like just taking a couple trades a day uh paying roughly the same amounts and payouts uh like took a payout in april took a payout in may of roughly the same amounts keeping the balance their uh average losing day 
well, if there's a thousand dollar limit, maybe we could, I don't know, maybe we could do a little better there. I'm waiting for the person whose uh, average losing day is like half the limit or something like that. That would be fun. Uh, but overall, I like the management here. I can see why he was called up the live. Good card. Yeah, most definitely. I'm um, looking forward to seeing what he does in a, in a live account. Um, cool. Let's move on to our third and last uh, trading card for today. Um, we've got Angie, Angie D. Um, trading very well. We love our, our female traders. Um, trading with us from Surf City, North Carolina. Um, and she just had a 150K XFA get called up to live yesterday as well um, in that class with Babar. So, um, trading the NQ. Now we have a smaller sample size on this one, only nine trading days completed. So take the statistics that you see here with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, Angie is what on, uh, what could best be described as a heater. She is uh, trading exceptionally well. Um, you can see that, uh, pretty much by all the metrics, 3.7 to one risk reward ratio, um, 63% winning trades. Um, that's, Fantastic. Uh, again, we've talked over and over again about how that will equalize over time, but um, when the getting's good, it's good. So uh, we want to see Angie in that live account doing exactly what she's doing in the live markets, um, you know, so that we can give her additional tools from the risk team, put those in her hand, and also, you know, share in her trading success with that profit split. Uh, putting up seventeen hundred, almost eighteen hundred dollars a day on average. Um, really, just amazing uh, when you consider. You know what type of opportunity this really is. Um, taking three trades a day, three contracts per trade. I'll tell you what jumped off the page for me, Jack, when I was looking at this was um, the 90 minute hold time for winners compared to seven minute hold time for losers. Um, so that's, you know, raw honesty with yourself about whether or not the trade's working, you know, uh, picking the spot. And if it works, letting it ride out, um, letting it go in your favor for as long as possible, you know, either trailing that stop up or just letting it hit your profit target and uh, cutting the trade if it's not working for you. So um, love seeing statistics like that on the hold times, especially with that type of a risk reward ratio. That means you're seeing the markets well, you're putting the trades on, you're letting it work for you and um, making significant money as a result. Um, and you took $5,000 also uh, out of the XFA. We've talked about this, I think every day, maybe multiple times a day uh, this week, the risk team that is. Um, we love seeing mm -hmm. traders take payouts. We want to encourage that as much as possible. The money's never real until you take it and put it in your own uh, bank account. So I'll always advocate for that every single time I'm on TV and every day within the risk team um, as much as possible. So love seeing those payouts from the XFAs getting transferred into live so you can uh, take a swing in the big leagues. Um, average winning day to losing day, also awesome. Uh, 2400 bucks compared to only $500 uh, average losing day. That's only two losing days that we have to uh, to reference, but um, love that that's, you know, as you were saying, Jack, I know we don't have much data, but it is about half of, uh, less than half of the uh, um, daily loss summit that she has available to her. So um, being willing to walk away, I think one of the days, let me double check, is a uh, $17 loser, um, $18 yeah, I, loser, gonna, and then had a $1,000 losing day. I'm actually going to read these off because it's a small sample size. I think sometimes we have people in here who, to put it lightly, owe a lot of their success to one very large day um, that affects everything else. It's only been nine days in this account for Angie. So starting May 16th, I just want to read these off really quick because you look different. Before. First day, $19 loser. Okay. Second day, 600, sorry, uh, $2,000 winner. Third day, $2,900 winner, then a $2,000 winner, then a $3,300 winner, then a $2,000 winner, then a $1,000 loser, then a $3,000 winner, then a $1,700 winner. What I like about that is the numbers aren't all over the place, right? It, it seems like she was in there, she was making between 1.5 to 3K a day on those seven winning days. There wasn't just the hitting of the DLL and then there's one day where she made $19,000 or something. It is a small sample size, but uh, I like what I see here being very judicious, so to speak, with the number of trades. You mentioned the hold times. Um, I think this is really good. Now, 
Oh, actually, I mean, 63% winning rate. I was looking at the 78% winning days. Um, 63% winning trades at a 3.7 to 1 may not be sustainable. Yeah. If it is, um, I'll give you my email and give you whatever money I have. Um, yeah, but right. as long as you can manage that downside, I think she should be fine. Uh, I like the control here, so... Yeah, that's and that's my hard. that's my uh, that's my biggest piece of advice going forward. You know that losing streak will come. Market conditions change. This is the you know one of the hardest professions that there is, um, and we love seeing the fact that Angie's been on truly a, a hot streak. Um, she's been trading very well over this period of time, but inevitably you'll have that string of losing trades, even that string of losing days. You know, uh, professional traders have strings of losing weeks or months. Oftentimes, um, it's about what you do when you're losing. Um, that will determine whether or not you remain in this game or not. Uh, so just don't lose your head after a string of losing trades. You know, manage that downside again. We love that seven minute uh, time frame on the on the losers. Be honest about the losers. Walk away when you have a losing day. Keep doing that, and, is, and your upside is you know uh, basically uncapped. Um, and, and taking home thousands of dollars at a time is uh, going to lead to a very profitable career in this uh, in this live account. So. Love seeing that from Angie. Angie, if you're watching, shout outs to you. Um, great trading. Some of the best trading over this period of time um, that we've seen out of any of our traders. So um, kudos to you. And uh, I think that that's all we got, unless you want to say anything else about uh, Angie. Just, well, just one general side note from looking at these trade reports is this is just a tangential to all this. But I always notice uh, you do have to include when you see like uh, commissions, like total commissions and fees and stuff, is it always jumps out the difference of how low it is when you have these people that are just picking their spots and doing one or two trades versus the person who you can tell is going hog wild in the end queue and you know rack up i think i've seen like four or five hundred dollars of commission a day uh that's something you gotta think about um is that 59th uh end queue slam worth you know you're kind of putting yourself in a little hole there. If those are all good trades, go on you, but good on you. But um, yeah, just something to think about there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just, I, I go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, I would come back to uh, one last time to UA. You know, the fact that overnight took a you know thirty four thousand dollar winning trade and then has um, you know traded somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty five or thirty trades since that point in time, all 15 lots, you're taking, you know, a thousand dollars somewhere in there in, in commissions, you know, just to, to squeeze out another, maybe another couple thousand dollars. Again, that's a maybe if you didn't end up giving away some of that profit. So it's a lot of, a lot of commissions, a lot of effort, a lot of, uh, you know, time, mental capital, all of those things um, to try and get those last few drops out of the lemon. Um, you know, you got to judge whether that's worth it for yourself or not. And, and also be honest about the math uh, when it comes to commissions, like Jack's saying. So uh, good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see that from time to time. Well, I'm looking through the chat here because we have a minute or two. If there's anything, Baus is short Bitcoin. Sure, why not? Um, Nick, I hope the, I don't have my charts up right now, but I hope the uh, sellers are working out for you. Um, beyond that, we're finishing up right now. Uh, ben, thank you so much. Always a pleasure talking to you. And your roof has stayed on through this entire segment. So good stuff. Yeah, most definitely. Thankfully, it's uh, it's all calmed down, it looks like. So um, sun will shine in 10 minutes, I'm sure. That's Texas weather. Of course. Well, folks out there, stick around because up next we got group coaching. It's a double dose of coaches. We got Robert and Hogue doing it today. Should be a grand old time. Uh, later, we got Andre. Nick for a tick is coming on. Hopefully, his trade has worked out by then. Coach Jay will be there too. And then we got as Andre mentioned, uh, BroFest 2024, Andre, Gabe, and Justin Werlein will be there. So stick around. We'll be back right after this with group coaching. We'll see you then.